What's up, guys? John here. And Cherise. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So, another episode, more tips and tricks for you guys. I think these two topics that we're going to talk about today, um, they're going to go right along with what's going on today, right? In today's world, where things have changed dramatically, relationships have taken on a whole new uh, definition, I guess, of things that... <laughs> You know, that you might interact with, overcome, or have to deal with. Yep. So uh, I think these go right right along with that. So at that point, we want to give you guys these tips and tricks every week. That's why you guys are tuning in to Cupid's Corner with me and Cherise. And we want these to help you guys. I mean, that's ultimately what we're here to do. We're here to help you guys. We want to make sure that your guys' relationship is a success, <laughs> not a failure. So maybe just taking in some of this information and utilizing it will set your relationship up with a long-lasting success. <laughs> so, let's get into the two topics for today. The first one, recognizing the stressors today in your relationship. Right? So, this is a good topic because there's a lot of different stressful things going on. A lot. Right? From COVID, the elections, all this crazy stuff um, that we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. But recognizing the stressors of your partner. Now, when we talk about this, you're going to say, well, John, wh what's the example of this, right? Mm -hmm. And the example that I want to give is this, is you have one partner, okay, and let's just say it's the guy who has to go out and work. He's an essential worker, so he has to go out and work. And then you have the other partner, let's say it's a female, who's doing all the domestic responsibilities and duties, staying at home, cleaning the house, making sure the kid is getting taught via online right. or, or making sure all these other things are accomplished, right? Um, two different situations, but both are very stressful or could be very stressful, mm -hmm. right? And partners, they sometimes forget about the stresses of those jobs because they might not be doing them or they might just forgot, hey, listen, that was a really hard thing to do or they have a lot on their plate. Or they haven't done it yet. That's so for true. instance, you know, if it's the guy, he didn't stay home with the kid to go through all their learning things and try to figure out how to keep them focused and all this stuff. So they may not understand like, oh, wow, this is really stressful. You know, even though it seems like, oh, you're home with the kid all day. What, mm -hmm. what could you possibly be doing? Are you mm -hmm. eating popcorn while he's, mm -hmm. you know, or he or she is having a good old time at school. <laughs> but, you know, it doesn't work that way. No. So there's obviously these are two totally different things, right? But let's say the guy goes to his work. He has a lot of stress at his job. He's under a lot of pressure to complete this task or or manage this project or whatever it may be. So he's under a lot of stress from this. He's getting stressed from corporate and all this different stuff. So he comes home, he's stressed out, right? Well, his partner, who's been domestic the whole time, and she's doing her responsibilities, and she might be stressed out. Listen, she might be doing laundry. The kids might be running around crazy, right? She's pulling her hair out. Because you could have two like, dogs like us that chase each other around the house. Stop, won't stop. They just won't stop barking. They just... <laughs> I, I I really do ask, like, if, you know, maybe we gave them some extra, extra, extra treats or yep, something. Yeah, some sugar or something, right? <laughs> Like, whoa, 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 relax, and they're just going crazy. It's little things like that. They got our ECA Stack Plus, all right? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. He okay. dropped the bottle on the all ground. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. But, you know, you have two people that are stressed because two different situations are going on, right? But they don't really know about each other's stress, right? They're, they're just thinking, oh... He's going to his job every day. He gets to get out of the house. Or you have the the guy who's like, oh, she just sits home all day. And she's just sitting there and just mm -hmm. eating bonbons, watching, you know, soap, or soap operas or, or, or whatever they are. <laughs> right? So they don't really understand that. Unless they really communicate. And that's what we talk about all the time is communication. Communication is key. Letting your partner know kind of what's going on, you know, when you're at your job or what's going on at home. So you guys can kind of talk about it, get on the same page. And support each other. Be receptive, please. Be receptive. And sometimes when we're under stress, you know, some people don't like to communicate. And that can cause a breakdown and deterioration in the relationship and communication. And then you guys start, you know, being upset at each other. And that can lead to fights and all these different things. Like, you're not doing anything but sit at home. You're not doing anything but going to work. And you don't do anything at work. So who cares? Uh, or you guys hang out with all your friends at work. And right. I'm stuck here with the dog and the kids. Right. That'd so be me. It's just not true. <laughs> You know, and then I think when you communicate and you, you recognize these different stressors between you two, whatever the jobs may be, then you guys can get an understanding for it and then you can empathize 
for your partner. And the communication can create a stronger bond and you guys can talk about these things and then move past the problems. It's not even that though, honestly, because I used to do this with John and I still do to this day. But don't just empathize. Open up and be like, all right, put your stuff aside for two seconds, okay? Whatever it is that your problem is, whether it's the kids or your job or your project or whatever it is, and ask your significant other and say, hey, listen, all right, so talk to me. I always say that to him. I'll be like, all right, all right, obviously you're upset. All right, talk to me. Like, what's going on? You know, and let them talk to you and let them vent. Let them vent. Let them yell, vent, be upset. Let them get it out. Because a lot of times if you just get it out, you'll feel better. And let them be the person. You're, you want to be that person that they come to to do that with. But sometimes you got to ask, like, all right, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Sometimes I used to badger him and be like, tell me, 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 tell me. And then he'd be like, can I just get five minutes without you bothering me? Do I need to go into the bathroom or something? <laughs> but he would eventually tell me. But I would always ask because I'd want to know. If you genuinely want to know and you genuinely want to try to make it better. Because, hey, listen, you might come across something where you're like, oh, wait a minute. We can actually open up two tabs on your Internet Explorer that would make it so much easier for the kid to do this and that. But you wouldn't have known that unless you guys had a discussion. So that's just an example. Or, hey, you didn't realize I can order this dog pin and we could put the dogs in the pin for a couple hours and they won't bother each other. Little things like this, you know, just an example, you know. So help your partner out. <laughs> Empathize. Right. Listen. Be there for them, and I think that will help out your relationship tremendously. Mm -hmm. And if there's a lot of stressors, you guys need to de-stress, which gets us to our next topic that will go right along with this. Make time for fun, mm -hmm. okay, between you two as a couple. Whether you got kids, you got dogs, you're taking care of your parents, you got these jobs you got to do, and you're like, oh my God, like it's so hard to find time to be with each other and have fun. Mm -hmm. You have to set these things or this time aside so you guys can actually have this fun. If you guys are schedule oriented, then you guys can schedule it. You guys can say, listen, Saturday night, we're going to go out. You know, we're going to get a babysitter. We'll have our parents come over or we don't have kids or dogs. We can go out and do this, um, put all our work aside, put all the domestic responsibilities aside and just go out and have fun. Enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and this is really, really, you know, this rings true in all relationships, whether you are married or you're not married or whatever it is. Um, usually, you know, we're all working these days. Right. And even if you're working at home or you're working at your job, you know, your significant other, you guys have to find that time, whether it's on the weekend or a Friday night or Thursday night. It could or, be any It could be whatever it is. Yeah. You know, with me and Sharice, for example, we used to go to the movies every Thursday. Mm. Obviously, we can't right now because there's no new movies coming there's out. no new movies. Right? It's pretty bad when you go to AMC <laughs> and rent out an entire theater for $100. Oh, wow, yeah. That's right? kind of crazy. I'm used to spending $100 on her, Peter, and the tickets and all the food and all the garbage <laughs> adding up. Now, it's like nothing. Like, it's literally like ghost town, right? So. Okay. When you're setting this time aside, make sure it's going to be fun for both of you both guys. Both of you, Not yep. just one. Because, yep. I mean... You know, like, hey, honey, we're going to go golfing, all right? <laughs> right? But I'll buy you a beer. Don't worry. You can be my caddy, you know? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. You can get my clubs. You know, it'll be yeah, real yeah. fun. I'm going to teach you this game. I promise. It's a game. It's a game. We're going to have fun. <laughs> that would be so messed up. <laughs> yeah. You know, some couples might like to do that together, though, because they might enjoy golfing together, exactly. right? Exactly. But, you know, usually couples, they want to go out and have fun and, and not have something to think about or have to be so serious about. You know, for example, right? This last Saturday was so much fun. Halloween, Saturday night. Okay, so that's great. Now, me and Sharice, we dress up every year. Now, this year, obviously, Peter has to go trick or treat. He's 11 years old last year. Whoa. But after that, you guys can go out and have fun. Yep. Okay, you guys can go to a Halloween party. Or you guys can dress up. You guys can go, you know, on a romantic date or whatever it may be. So this weekend, we got to go out on Saturday. We were Captain America and Miss Captain America. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we had this set up. So we we got to go to this big Halloween party. It was outside, so we were safe there, and everything was good. We got to listen to music. We got to dance. You know, not thinking about anything serious. Just thinking about having fun with each other and enjoying mm -hmm. each other's time. 
You know, I mean, that's really what it's about. I mean, coming back to those key components that made you guys as strong as you were and having fun, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that will or possibly might evolve in what you guys are doing too as well. You guys might, you know, enjoy new hobbies that you may never have liked before. Mm -hmm. Or you might just go back to those simple things like a movie, if we could ever get movies back, <laughs> or going dancing somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's our favorite. You're going dancing in a million different places. So there's just certain things you, you're going to want to do. But definitely set aside time for you guys to have fun. Mm -hmm. And that could be outside, could be inside, whatever you guys want. It doesn't matter how many years you guys have been together. Because right. I, feel, I feel like as the years go on, people forget that they need time for each other too. Yeah. And sometimes they'll, you know, invite friends out and yeah. you know, then they forget that it's supposed to be just their night. That's important. That we'll happens. save that for another that an, another episode. But me and John, we invited friends out, but we also went to dinner in between our event mm -hmm. and our next event. Mm -hmm. So we went to dinner by ourselves mm -hmm. at Eddie V's, my favorite restaurant. <laughs> um, but we went there and we had dinner all by ourselves. Yep. So, and then we still had a good time when we went out. Absolutely. But you see how it's still allocated that time frame just for you guys. And you could still meet friends out. You can go yeah. one place together and then meet friends out at the next place Literally. if you guys want to do that. Or go have dinner beforehand and then go out with friends afterwards. Yeah. And that yeah. way you guys can enjoy each other's company on the exact yeah. same night and then go out and socialize with friends that you have. Yep. So you're getting a lot of social interactions right now with the pandemic and all that good stuff people want you know they want interaction like personal interaction I think with their friends or with their family or their loved ones or whatever it is you know we need that as, as humans so I mean that's how we were brought up and at that point it will help you guys' relationship as well plus you guys create great memories together which entail will help you guys bond pro possibly even more than what you guys are at right now so these are just two more awesome tips and tricks for you guys to take in consideration using your relationship utilize this information to make your relationship almost unbreakable or as unbreakable as you possibly can stepping it up to the best level you guys can you know so that's why we're here cupid's corner every sunday right 11 a.m on our tight medical health and lifestyle show we appreciate guys all tuning in and we got a ton of more tips and tricks for you guys coming this Sunday and every other Sunday afterwards. So keep it locked to Titan. Me and Cherise, we're coming at you guys. Cupid's Corner. See you then.